Okay. Canada Flight Supplement. The Canada Flight Supplement, first of all, is now available digitally. So you may have a paper copy. And I think a paper copy is a good idea for a couple of reasons. One is it sort of helps you understand the, the you know, the PDF file that you're going to probably download, uh, which is great because it's very compact and doesn't take up a lot of room. But until you flip through the book, the, the PDF image is maybe not as user friendly as it might be. So what we've got on here is we've got an example of the table of contents, you know, just the different, the different parts of the CFS. The part that everybody ignores is the general section, part A. And look at all the stuff that's in the general section. You've got all the abbreviations. You've got uh, a general chart legend. So the, the, the um, stuff that didn't make it to the map flap, the rest of it is here. And that's pretty much all of it. I mean, you know, anything that's not in here, you're really drilling down to some of the more fringe stuff but all the stuff you really need is all right here. So it's good that you spend some time with the different sections in the CFS. Also part A tells you how to read the rest of the book. So there's all these different uh, examples of how to interpret all the different symbols in the CFS. And this is something that people are falling down on and they really don't need to be. So I've given an example here, um, and Paul was very kind because he picked my home airport. But it's a really good example because it has two pages. So the one over here would be a typical listing for an airport this size. This is fairly complete. You know, there's, a, there's, a, there's basically everything there. But the other part that, that we have is we have this, uh, this VFR terminal procedures chart. And really what the VFR terminal procedures chart does is it kind of lets a um, transient pilot in on some of the, the local landmarks. And you can see that on this particular map, or this little, little map that's in the CFS, we have a, a call-up point with a flag labeled Jordan Harbor, which you should be able to find on your VNC chart or your VTA chart, Martindale Pond. You wouldn't know where these places were if you didn't have this. Brock University, the Canadian Reservoir, and Niagara-on-the-Lake. And this is important because there's a lot of people that fly past this airport on their way to do a tour over Niagara Falls. And this is the Niagara Falls scenic restricted area right here. You can see that the airspace has this funny shape because in the United States, they don't do restricted airspace exactly the way that we do. And they had this control zone that was kind of infringing on it at the Niagara Falls International USA Airport. So this will, uh, you know, wherever you have one of these, you should expect that these are gonna be used, you know, and, that, and that's important. The other cool thing they did down here was they gave you lot long coordinates for all this stuff. So presumably you can enter this into a GPS if you weren't really good at map reading and that would work out for you. So just a little bit more detail than what you would get. Uh, the other thing is the symbol right here that looks like a glider. That's because at certain times there is gliding at the St. Catharines Niagara District Airport. And then all of this stuff here, the, uh, the warnings, etc. right?